Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. everyone and welcome to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is body parts and decision making and before we get into any lessons boys and girls we know that we need to sanitize so let us take our sanitizer and rub our hands carefully remember sanitizing is not the only way we can stay safe we can practice good social distancing by checking if we're close to people using our hands beside us and in front of us make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else for today's lesson we will be talking about plurals decision making and multiplication To start our lesson, boys and girls, we are going to turn to page 28. On page 28, we are going to be dealing with plurals. Now remember, plurals means that a word has changed from just being one thing to two, two or many. So it is our job to complete the sentences by changing the words in brackets into plural form. Let's take a look at the board. I have tried to help you with a few <laughs> that I have put on the board. Now you can see for number one, the words in brackets that we have are girl and toy. So in our sentence, in order for us to complete it, we need to just add an S. Once we add an S, this singular turns into plural. We have now many girls many toys so if we change the word from singular to plural we can now put it correctly in the sentence let's go back to number one number one says the dash are happy because they have got new dash so we are now going to fill in those dashes with the words in the brackets but we are going to add an s so that it can be complete let us begin the girls are happy because they have got new toys and now the sentence is correct and complete so you're going to do the same thing for the rest of the sentences. Please, boys and girls, make sure that you try and read the sentence before you add the word with the S. That way, you'll be improving your English and making sure that your work is correct. Once you're done with page 28, you can go now to the next page, page 29. On page 29, we have an exciting game, and this one is all about decision making. Here, we have a girl named Emma. 
and we're going to help Emma to decide which way to go to the muddy pool where her friends are waiting for her to dive in. Now, as you can see, this maze has a lot of corners and turns. So, I'd like you to please start by using your finger first. Do not use a pencil or a pen, your finger. That way, if there are any dead ends, you can always go back to the beginning where it says start and try a different route. Make sure that when you finally get to the finish where the friends are, you are going to now remember how you made your decisions. So take your time. Each route or each way is different, but there is one clear one that will lead Emma to her friends. Once you have that one, you can even use color to draw the way for Emma. Have fun with this one and I will see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. For our last exercise, boys and girls, we are going to turn to page 30. On page 30, we are back at our multiplication tables. Today, we will be doing the 5 times table and the 10 times table. Now, these two are easy for us to remember, but when there are missing numbers, we need to know the answers very, very quickly. Because if we do not use the boxes, then the rest of the answers will be wrong. So, let us try and do the first three together for the 5 times table. Now, I have written the first three on the board. The first one has a box missing in the middle. So it says one times box equals five. Now, dear, dear grade threes, there's a simple trick for that box. Because we're dealing with the five times table, that means every number in the middle is going to be a five. So, if you see a box that has five, that doesn't have a five that's in the middle actually, that means that a five is supposed to be there. So, we are simply going to add our five. Now we know that we've done the first one and it didn't even need us to think. So just remember, any middle box that's missing, that's where the times table number is supposed to be. In this case, it's our 5. Now let's go to where the first one is missing. Now if you find that the first one is missing, then what you now need to do on a separate piece of paper is to draw sets. Now sets can help you solve both the one that's missing in the beginning and the one that's missing at the end. Since this is the five times table, I'm going to draw five sets. One, two, three, four, and five. So, if you're not sure what the answer is, you can start by drawing your five sets. And then, because we don't know how many are going in each set, we are just going to share equally in all the sets. And how do we do that? We're going to share 10 into all of the sets equally by giving them one each and then going back again for another round. So let us begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we have given them 10. So our job to make sure that we find the answer for this one is to now count what is in each set. Not all the sets all together. We already know that all together they add up to 10 because we shared it. But now we need to count how many are in each set. One, two. This one has two. One, two. This one also has two. 
we have two here, two here as well, and the last one has two. Now remember boys and girls, your sets also need to match. If I have two in here, but I have seven in the other one, then there is something wrong. I did not share equally. So because two is the number that we can see coming for all of the sets, it is safe for us to say that our answer is two. So the sum now says two times five equals 10. So please use this method for any of the boxes that are missing in the front. Now for the boxes that are missing at the back of the equal sign, that's a different one altogether. Let me first clean these ones out because we are done, but we are still going to be using our sets. With the ones that are coming now, it is easier to do because we are used to trying to find the total answer. The sum says three times five equals box. So what we now need to do is put three in each of our sets. Remember our set is five and we're going to put three things, three things, three things in each of our sets. Then we are, when we are done with that, we need to now add what we have in all of the sets for us to get the complete answer. So let us begin. One, two, three. 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 So now we have put three things in our five sets and to get our answer, we need to add everything together by counting what is in all the sets. So let us begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So after counting what is in all the sets, we have an answer. Three times five equals 15. So take your time with your times tables, boys and girls. I know sometimes it's very tempting to just write an answer that we don't know, but it's very good to work it out and try and do it as quick as you can so that you can memorize your methods. Have fun with the five times table as well as the 10 times table. And don't forget the little rules and tricks that I've just taught you. I will see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you had fun. Remember, if you're not sure what to do or something is very hard, it's okay to ask for help. Just make sure you finish your work by yourself and remember to practice, practice, practice. Now that we are done with our lesson, we need to sanitize. Sanitizing doesn't mean that you are going to be 100% safe. So you also need to practice good social distancing and as well as using soap and water. Don't forget to wear a mask when you are out in public. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Sasha and I were going to go and visit a friend of ours because he was going to show us how to brush our teeth nicely. Sashi, are you ready? Wonderful, Sashi. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. 
Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, My Zone Online School, Amos Meerkat Syllabus, and Capricorn Foundation.